the truce foundation, poet laureate Colin Goedeke and the poetosphere. For the world, a call for trucefulness. Being truceful. Today. I'm pausing and choosing to break through wherever I'm hostile to however I can be peaceful in my home, my neighborhood, my country, to break away from allowing harm, to seeking calm in this world I belong to, Take my best spirit out beyond the bounds of these Olympic places of sport and spectating, history and glory. Today, so safe passages can open, open wide. Everywhere I go, and everywhere others go. Other men and women, parents, children, friends and families, elders, strangers. For us to gladly meet and freely talk. So we can share our whole selves, our deeper truths, our common bonds without holding back or feeling afraid. So an air of peacefulness can fill our days and minds and great flames of kindness toward each other and our living earth can be fed, can be kindled and like torches be held and upheld by me by many, maybe by all in time, to light the way, like the athletes who inspire us, the Olympians who brave the steepest challenges, flow beyond their doubts and fears and rise to such expansive places and strive alongside others in a spirit of solidarity the way we too, within each opening, can create a heartful unity, can find, feel, and help our humanity flower and flourish. Today, let me begin to be truthful in how I talk, listen, act, let me soften my belligerence, indifference, separateness. Become a face of truce. One that reflects the hopes of billions for a good life, a desire we all share. Whose language of friendliness is welcome and understood in every heart and gut, village and city. I'm answering this call. Will you join me? Because the chance for truce is in our hands. Because we can make spaces for truce to live and thrive inside and around us. Make choices that bring us back to our wholeness. Empower us to come to awareness we are only one expression, one weave of infinite weaves in the fabric of this wild and precious earth we are all graced to be part of. This earth you and I can love and serve, respect instead of ravage, 
and can breathe. Breathe in great harmony with and with each other. Every one of us. Every day. The way all other living things do. Mm. 